Hey everybody, it's Crazy Cousin 4 and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros for the 3DS. In the last episode, we started on the series um, by heading into solo and it went into classic mode. Started off things with, of course, you know, the classic mode itself. Um, yeah, and we, of course, went through our first run through with the man himself, Mario. And it was pretty good. I had a good playthrough of it. Um, and yeah, in this episode, we're continuing on with classic mode, going through as his brother, Luigi. Luigi. Um, don't mind the scoring, just like, if, if you are curious, if there are future episodes where, like, I start off in a video and already have some sort of score, it's just because I had a failed attempt, not with the recording itself, but just with the run-through. Uh, I got my ass handed to me or some bullcrap happens, I gotta continue and I don't wanna continue simply because... I didn't say this, but every time you get a continue in classic mode in this game, you basically drop 0.5 intensity. So I would have had to continue on at 7.0. I didn't want to do that. I want to continue at the intensity I start out with. So there might be times where I do get a continue and a run through and I just restart the episode because I want to have a perfect run through at 7.5 or at the difficulty that I start with. Okay. My apologies. That's just how things are going to go. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's look at Luigi's uh, outfits real quick before we do get started. So we have the standard green outfit, of course, uh, which resembles his appearance, or based on his appearance in Super Mario 3D Land. We have an orange outfit, which is just a Smash original, just kind of here, but it's cool. We have a pink Luigi outfit, which the base, uh, sorry, the original Smash Bros. website actually referred to this one as Strawberry Luigi. We have my personal favorite, the Cyan Luigi, uh, which is just really cool. No, no origin to it, just kind of here, but it's it's nice. Uh, then we have the Fire Luigi. You know, already know what it's based off of. We have a Purple Luigi, based off of Waluigi himself. We have a blue outfit, which resembles Mario's appearance on the Game & Watch box art for Donkey Kong Jr. and one of the Scare Scraper colors in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And finally, a yellow outfit, which resembles the appearance of a boy on the box art of the widescreen re-release for the Game & Watch game Manhole. A very specific uh, origin that one is, but oh well. Uh, let's go in with standard green Luigi and um, let's get things started. So obviously going in at 7.5, we're not going to change this, at least for the time being. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, am I ready? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I guess let's go for this one just because I want the trophy. I should maybe stop fighting DK. Um, the past, I think, like, two attempts... Uh, funny enough, this is my third attempt recording this episode just because I keep getting continues of Luigi, and it's specifically because of this damn stage. Jungle Jabes is a freaking mess. I hate this stage ever since its introduction in Melee. It is the worst. Like, Poke Floats, I would rather deal with freaking Poke Floats than this garbage hellhole. Thank goodness that just ended quickly. I don't want to be on that stage anymore. All right. Gosh, and there's so much ranting going on in this episode. I apologize, but I'm just like, I'm just mentally drained at this point. I am mentally drained with just how this series has been going. I hope I can just, I can just have fun. I just want to have fun. Is that too much for me? Is that too much to ask for? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Anyways, we're playing as Luigi. Let's go ahead and check out his special moves. So first off, neutral special. We already know where this is going. It's fire bar. Fire ball, sorry. Um, just like Mario, except the main difference is that instead of being a red fire ball that bounces on the ground, this is a green fire ball, which instead um, twirls around a bit while going in a straight line in the air. Uh, they're actually, funny enough, there is a custom move that Luigi can learn for his, um, uh, for his fireball that allows him to have the same physics as Mario's fireball, which is pretty cool. So it's like, if you prefer Mario's version, then, like, you can go ahead and do that, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's there for anyone who wants it. Oh, but you have to unlock it, of course. Get the frick out of here! And then kill him. In case, son of a gun, I hate you. How did I not hit him? Oh, uh, I swear, these CPUs. Let's go! Get the misfire! Screw you, Charizard. Oh, go to hell. Hold up, watch this. Ready? I was facing the wrong way. Are you joking? What is he doing? 
Oh my gosh, is, it, is this how you're gonna play? Look at that freaking cyclone. Okay, speaking of which, we got the misfire, which has to do with his side special, which is the green missile. It's a move that he can, he can charge for a certain amount of time. Let's go! I'm sorry, I'm just hype about that. Uh, he can charge the, the green missile for a certain amount of time after a bit of charging. Uh, once he reaches his max charge, he then go. takes a second and then can, like, basically quit out of it if he so pleases. Um, unlike the previous two games where he actually kind of just keeps charging unless he either releases it or he gets hit out of it. So, yeah. And you also saw the misfire that I used to kill Lucario. The misfire has a 10% chance of um, of going off. And if you get it, it's, it's really good. It's really good. It has a very, very good kill rate. Because uh, it just has a lot more knockback. Um, and I just, in general, damage it power? Ugh. Compared to the standard green missile. Or, sorry, the green. Yeah, the standard green missile. Fart. Oh great, of course he has the freaking... Why do you do so much damage? Excuse me? Oh, of course we're playing on this stupid stage. I hate... Oh, no wonder it's the assist trophy that did so much. Okay, there's zero suit at least. Can we just talk about how... Stop. Okay, hold up. I need to like concentrate right now. Okay, I'm glad he got hit by that. Didn't kill. If it was a misfire, I would have killed. Look at that sh... Shart. I, I'm, I, I'm trying to like Wait, I thought I threw it down. Excuse me this game. I swear this game. Oh I'm scared. I'm so scared now freaking little Mac has a KO. Oh the f fart Okay, I'm like I'm nervous. I'm nervous How he just okay, he killed himself good and of course the bees are going after me I can't concentrate. I don't know. I, I can concentrate. I have to. You slime ball. He's gonna give me one. I least expect it. I know it. I know it. Get out of here. Okay, let's do it. Come on, hit him. Let's go. Okay, we saw. We got a sneak peek of his uh, final smash, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, Oh, my heart was freaking pounding. I did not want to die. I did not want to have to redo this again. I just like, I have to win. Oh, I don't want to do this fight. Olimar <laughs> on this damn stage. Oh my gosh. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, let's look at his, uh, or let's talk about real quickly his uh, up special, which is of course the super jump punch just like Mario. However, the main difference with this one is that instead of going at a diagonal kind of um, trajectory and having uh, multi hits to it, uh, he actually instead, nice, I'm glad he got hit by that. He instead just goes vertical, way more vertical, and I think he has slightly less height to it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, he has, he gets slightly less height with uh, his recovery compared to Mario's. Um, and yeah, it only does one hit. However, it has one special property to Luigi's uh, Super Jump Punch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit it, because it's going to be really tough to hit it. But if you are to use it right up against an opponent, or I guess against something, um, then you can actually do a fiery jump punch of sorts, which increases the power and knockback of the move by a lot. Um, and it has a very, it has a much higher chance of killing, uh, obviously, compared to the standard version. The standard version can't even kill, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, and yeah, so that's kind of the main shtick of it. It's, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a, it is a very good, um, Way to kill to catch your opponent off guard. You can sometimes like lean into it, if, like you do like a jab into uppy, or even like fireball into uppy can work, or you just like read your opponent and that can just work as well. And you can also hit it off in the air too, which is it's tough, but you can do it. All right, we're also finding a team of uh, of a character, which is pretty cool. If I this time around, uh, which I'm actually pretty excited about. Not the Mies this time around. I guess since we're here, we might as well check out his down special, which is Luigi Cyclone. Um, and uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. He just spins around in a cyclone, has a multi-hit uh, functionality to it, and is also a very, very good recovery option. 
Uh, as, as you can see, the multi-hits help a lot. Uh, it's a very, very good multi-hit move. Um, but yeah, so if you were to use it in the ground or on the ground, what happened to him? He just like does that, just kind of, he does a lot of trajectory with it, a lot of movement. If you spam it, he goes up a little bit, he gets a little bit of height. But if you use the move and start spamming the B button at the height of your jump, like right after a jump. Hold up, let's maybe do this. Oh, that was beautiful. I hate that I'm, I can't do anything. I just, son of a gun got a timer on me. Okay, hold up. Yeah, if we do it at the height of a jump, or just right after a jump, he gets a lot more height from that uh, from that special move. And it's very, very good. I like using it a lot as a recovery, as an alternate recovery, um, just because I can. Um, it is very useful, I will say that. Very, very useful to use. And sometimes it's a lot safer than just like his regular recovery because it has the multi-hits to it. And has a lot of like killing properties too. Like you can actually kill someone off the top of the screen just with the down B. Um, so it's nice. It's a really good move. I like that one a lot. And that's his special moves. So yeah, that's 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 it. <laughs> that's a lot. To, that's a lot to talk about. But we took care of it, which is good. Um, hopefully, you know what? Yeah. Uh, when we fight Master Core real quick, I'll go over his taunts. But we saw his final smash for a second there, uh, which is the Poltergeist 5000, not the negative zone anymore. They changed this one up, um, where based off of obviously, you know, Luigi's Mansion, he takes out the Pol Poltergeist and starts twirling it around trying to suck nearby opponents in from both sides, from left and right. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good one. I kind of do miss... Uh, the negative zone, if I'm being honest with you, it's just one of my personal favorites, honestly. I like that one a lot. But, you know, it, it sometimes things need to change, so I can't fully complain about it. Uh, yeah, and then he just shoots the opponent out once he's like, done. And, like, while you're in the actual Poltergeist itself, you actually, like, do take a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty useful. Definitely a good killing uh, final smash, that's for sure. High, percent high percentages. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's take care of the son of a gun. Uh, okay, we can do that. Oh yeah, Luigi can crouch and uh, crawl, which is pretty fun. <laughs> I love the, the Luigi crawl a lot. Okay, Master Giants, we can we can take care of this guy easily. Now that we've like gone over everything with Luigi, I'm just like at a point where I can just like have a little fun. You're just beating things up. You know, I, I like that a lot. It's it's much better than just fighting characters. The characters, they're just like, you know, you can have different kinds of luck. With these guys, as long as you know, like, you know, the routine, the, um, I'm, basically choreography almost, uh, then you, you'll have an easy time with it. The pattern, that's what I'm trying to say. There we go, it's Beast done. Not Mr. Beast. Man's been too much controversy. I don't think Master Beast wants to be related to him. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Alright, not, not the edges. Actually, one thing I didn't mention, uh, there is one special attacking move that Luigi has, and that, uh, is, uh, his down taunts. Yes, we went over this before, obviously, in other games. Uh... Oh! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get spiked. I'm scared. We're doing this! Okay, watch this. Ready? Okay, that could have been a lot better, but it's fine. Okay, let's go. Nair kills. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, Luigi's down taunt, interestingly enough, can actually do damage. It only does, like, like a very minor amount of damage, like 2% or something. However, what's special about his down taunt is that if you were to hit someone... Uh, with the down taunt as they're like hanging over a ledge or hanging on a ledge, then you actually end up spiking them. Let me see if I can maybe pull it off. I did it! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I'm happy about that. Yes, Luigi's down taunt has spike properties to it, which is insane to me, but it does. Oh, I love that spike so much. Anyways, now that we're here at Master Core, let's go ahead and actually check out Luigi's taunts real quick. So, up taunt. A classic. There's side taunt right there, just does a plank. And then down taunt. Which is obviously we just went over. 
So now that we are here actually, because I want to really show it off and I don't know when I will show it off, we might as well just see what happens to Master Core if you take too long to kill him off, right? He's like, oh no, I'm struggling into Master Core. Who naturally would though, right? Um, yeah, so we just kind of vibe him for a second. I don't know how long it's been. Here we go. He starts doing this. Yeah, so he does an insta-kill move. Obviously, I did have a lot of damage on me, but it would have insta-killed. Trust me. I, I promise you it insta-kills. Um, so yeah, you can have that happen if you take too long. Hopefully, you're not taking too long. Don't be stupid, okay? I only did that just for scientific purposes, but yeah, don't actually do it if you're on like, like your last life or something. Hey, but we got two new, um, new moves. Burial header, which is okay. Probably like goes up and slams down likely. Probably like a... A smash attack, or sorry, uh, meteor smash, and then distant not for Atu for uh, Robin. All right, that's classic mode. Let's go ahead and check out our trophy. There we go. What, what a nice trophy to give him. I actually like that trophy a lot. The poses in Smash 4 are quite nice. Obviously, they do sometimes get a little bland. It depends on the character, of course. But I think overall, they're really nice. I do enjoy the, the Smash 4 uh, character arts, designs, whatever. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of things I like about this game. <laughs> it's so good. All right, here's the credits, uh, which we got a new picture uh, for Luigi himself, uh, which looks pretty cool. Pretty funny, pretty goofy. He's like... Uh, definitely in a state of shock right now. I have to go up against Bowser and uh, Dark Link. I mean, that's not a position I'd like to be in either. So, <laughs> yeah. The credits are, are good. I like the credits a lot. I mean, I mentioned this last episode, but I mean, I, I'm having trouble talking about what I like talking about stuff because I kind of talked about everything that I could. Um, especially in the last episode. Gosh, I talked so much in the last episode. I yap way too much. If I like talk too much, tell me to shut up because I'll, I'll do it. I mean, no, no, I can't because it's a freaking commentary channel. What I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, there's a picture. Pretty nice and simple. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, but Luigi, I mean, like, I don't know what else there really is to talk about with Luigi. I mean, we kind of talked about everything there kind of is to talk about with him. Uh, he's a really fun character. I've liked him, honestly, kind of since the first Smash game. He does get better, I feel, as the series progresses. Um, you know, he was like. He was actually kind of one of the worst characters in 64, for being honest. Uh, the tier list like just wait, puts him like really low. I think at, for a time he was the worst character in the game, so that's something, right? Um, but then he got better in melee. The wave that actually helped him up, helped him out a lot. I've seen him in, in like a lot of torments and whatnot. Brawl Luigi, I've always loved so much. I just for some reason I think Brawl Luigi might be my favorite iteration of him so far. I like him a lot in Brawl. Smash Four is like a close second, but I, I just don't. Something about Brawl Luigi is just fantastic. Fantastic. I really, really do like Brawl Luigi a lot. Um, yeah, so there's that. All right, we took care of that, and um, yeah, we're finally done with Luigi's class mode run through. Anything special? Nope, nothing. All right. Before we end things off, of course, let's go ahead and check out Luigi's trophy description because we have to. That's that's, that's the whole shtick about this. All right, Luigi. Luigi recently celebrated his 30th anniversary with the Year of Luigi, but all that attention just made him even more shy and awkward. In Smash Bros, Luigi takes a lot of cues from his brother in fighting style, adding flair to moves like Super Jump Punch. His taunts, however, are truly unique. He does have some really unique taunts, I, I, will, I will say that. Can't, can't really argue with that one. But yeah, there's, there's Luigi, there's his trophy. It's a nice trophy. I like the, the position, I guess, or the pose that it isn't in this game. I liked um, his brawl pose a lot, where he had like the the hats thing. He's like messing with his hats. Melee's pose I just don't remember at all. I kind of remember, kind of don't. And it's a pretty good one in Ultimate too. But yeah, there's that. Um, so yes, thank you all so much for watching today's episode of Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS or just Smash 4 in general. Next time we're going to continue on, of course, with Classic Mode. 
with the next character, Princess Peach. I don't know how this one's gonna go. I mean, like, I'm decent as Peach, so maybe I can do well. I, I can't say for sure. We'll just have to wait for the episode to happen. But yeah, so, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including the Twitch, the second channel, the music channel, the VOD channel. Everything's down below. Go check it out. Some good stuff. Good quality content. And with that all being said, I'll see everyone next time. Pop-Tart, out.